Hello YouTube. In this tutorial, we will create an About Us page. We will search for a nice image we can use in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide will look after we are done. So let us kick in and start working. Hey, welcome back to the course. Right now we will be designing the next slide, which will be the About Us page. There are many approaches on how to prepare such a page, but I think I already have an idea and we will use a big picture for that. So let me start by adding the new slide for the About Us page. I told you that I will present you one on one how I create those presentations. So I will also reveal very nice resources for you. And here is one of them, unsplash.com. It's a great website where you can find completely free without copyrights images and they are adding 10 new photos every 10 days. So I just typed in some office photo and as you see, there are not so many photos, but we could use that one, we could use that one. I've downloaded two of them and we'll enter them into the presentation. So let's start. My favorite thing to do, delete everything. I take the photo for example, this office photo, and I place it in the presentation. It's quite a bit big and it's a rectangle photo. So what I want to do, I hit the picture tools on the top. I go to crop and I crop the bottom side just a little bit. Let's say like that or even a bit more because I like the top side of the image. And I simply make the image big. I would like the image to cover, for example, 75% of the slide. So it should be something like this. Not too much. We can resize it later. PowerPoint is snapping this automatically. And I still need to crop this image. Let's say from the bottom again, like that. All right. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. I wanted it to be more. So I do it again. I crop again. I'm really ugly with this photo. I cropped half of it, but it doesn't matter. I just want to achieve the effect I want to achieve. I'm a little bit too slow, so let me speed up. I take four icons from here. I copy them and I insert them on the slide. All right, I have trouble selecting them now. Let me take them to the bottom and let me set the image back. As I see, the image is a little bit too small. I can resize it. I want to show you a nice trick how to cover up the image with a simple effect. I select a rectangle. I make the rectangle exactly the same size as the image. I right click on the rectangle. I go to format shape. First, I make shape outline, no outline, and now I want to select the branding color that I'm using for the entire presentation. Let's say, since I already made the title gray, we will go for a grayish approach. And I will simply select a gray color. It can be even darker. And I work with the transparency. As you see, we can create a really nice effect when the image is a little bit visible. Maybe it's too dark. Now it's too milky. This should do the trick. This adds a little bit more flavor to the image. All right, I'm done with that. I grouped the image. Maybe I should select a darker image, but never mind. We used an image like that. And I start working with the icons. I align the icons together, or four, four of them. PowerPoint is helping me with that. I select all of them. I want to make them just a slightly bigger, just slightly. And since they are vector icons, I can recolor them as I would like. So I select another color for each of the shapes. A nice blue one, a nice green one, a nice orange one. And for example, what do we have from the basic colors? Well, it can be a brownish yellow, it's all right. Now I select all of the icons, I go to drawing tools and I bring them forward. So they are in forward of the image. 
I place them here and I select another time insert shapes and I would like to make some background for the shapes. So by holding the shift key, I create a perfect rectangle. I want the rectangle to have a white fill. Then I select the shape outline. I go to weight and make a big, maybe a three point outline around it. As you see, this will be a background for all the images. Click a few times, send backwards and the backgrounds are ready. I make them smaller. Well, the images should, the icons should depend on what type of business you are doing right now. I copy it four times. And I send all of them backwards, hoping that they will cover up the icons perfectly. All right, what I should now do, I should always select shape outline. And by using the eyedropper, I should make the outline the same as the icon. Okay, the icons are ready. I quickly copy the text from the first slide to insert it here. Make a company name. I select the text, I make it white and I place it in the middle. Then I go back, I select the text to create quickly a text box and I make the text a little bit smaller. Wait a second for me to write here anything. I filled out some text. I think it should be adjusted to be justified. I've adjusted it to cover up the box. And I think this slide is ready and designed. We could still enter a tagline here, but let's not overcrowd it. I'm also not convinced by the orange we are using, but somehow the image which has also the orange chair works with that. So as it is, we are ready to begin animating the whole slide. This design is a part of my PowerPoint course where I teach how to create 14 of such amazing slides. If you would like to participate and enroll in this course, I have a special discount only for the viewers here from YouTube. You can click on the link which is showing in the middle of the screen right now to take a look at this course and if you're interested you can enroll in it for only 10 bucks. I think this is a really fair offer because it's offered only here to the YouTube viewers and I hope you feel appreciated and I like that you spend time on learning something new in PowerPoint. It can be a really useful and effective software if you know how to use it and how to use some shortcuts to really make your work efficient, enhance your workflow. Thank you for listening. You can also continue to the second part where I make the animations on this slide.